Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Back in January, I posted a video on how to remove the new extensions button that rolled out in Firefox version 109 in early January of this year, 2023. Now, it has come to my attention since posting that video about two months ago that um, with the recent rollout of version 111 of Firefox for desktop, which is the latest stable release, um, the methods described in that previous video are, are no longer working. So you can no longer um, use those methods previously described to try and remove the extensions button in version 111. Now, um, that's obvious because uh, Mozilla will update the browser and a lot of those options get removed. But nonetheless, um, there is a new method you can try on how to remove the Firefox extensions button from the toolbar now in version 111. So there's quite a lot to get through. And um, so just to dive straight in. Now, first of all, this works currently. Now, um, this could change at any time with another version upgrade or a point release update to the browser. But nonetheless, as of posting today, this does work and I have tried it. Now, um, first of all, what you need to do is open Firefox. Then head up to the address bar and type in about colon config. So that's about colon config. And then just take note, accept the risk and continue. Now, there could be um, side effects uh, using this method. So um, if you are comfortable to accept the risk and continue, and obviously if the negatives are outweighing the positives when it comes to um, having the extensions button in the toolbar, then accept the risk and continue. Now in the search, um, we need to enter a flag. Now what I will do is um, I will leave all of this down in a detailed description in the um, description box down below. So you can just copy and paste for easier reference because a lot of these instructions um, are quite a mouthful. So what you need to do is enter this flag, first of all. So I'm going to copy that in. And we're going to enter that into search preference name. Now the default value is false. So what we need to do is change that to true. So you change it from false to true. And then once you've done that, um, head up to the menu in the top right. Click on that. Head down to help. Click on that. And then head to more troubleshooting information. Now yeah, um, under application basics, we are looking for the profile, profile folder. And then we need to click on open folder, which takes us over to uh, the folder where all our profile data and so on for uh, the browser is um, hidden quite deep in the um, the actual settings of the Windows operating system. Now, um, what we need to do here is we need to create a new folder. And we need to call that folder Chrome. So that's all smalls. Just call it Chrome. No capitals. Now what we need to do after that uh, is we need to open Notepad and paste the following code. So once again, I will leave um, this code down below for you to copy and paste because as you can see, that is quite a mouthful. So I'm going to copy that. And now what we need to do is open up Notepad and then we need to paste that code into Notepad. And then what we need to do now is we need to save um, we need to save that and we need to call it userchrome.css. So I'm going to go file, save as, and make sure you get the spelling right because if you have one letter out, this will not work. So you need to call this user chrome dot CSS. So that's user chrome dot CSS and that's all smalls, no spaces. And then you need to save that to a location on your device. I'm going to save it to my downloads. Then head to your um, download location. I'm just going to open up a new tab for this. Head to your um, location where you saved that file. And what you need to do now is you need to copy that file. And then you need to head back to that profile folder which we opened for Firefox. And we need to head to the Chrome folder that we created. Open that Chrome folder and then, then we need to paste that notepad file we created into the Chrome folder. Now, once you've done that, um, all you need to do is um, head back to Firefox and close the browser. And then you need to relaunch Firefox. And once you've relaunched Firefox, you will see the extensions button has been removed and disabled. So that's just an updated version 
on how you can remove the um, the uh, Firefox extensions button from the toolbar now in version 111, which as mentioned, as of posting, still works, but that could change in the future. And then obviously, if you want to get access to extensions without the button, you can just head over to your settings and head over to extensions and themes. Now, if you want to reverse the process and re-enable and put the extensions button back, it's quite simple. So what you need to do uh, is follow the steps as described and head back uh, to the Chrome folder, your user profile folder that you um, we went to um, at the start of this video. So just to do a quick recap on how you do that is you head to your menu, um, head to help more troubleshooting information and then head back to your um, profile folder and open that folder. So that's the folder that we are currently in. And then what you need to do to re-enable re the extensions button is remove that Chrome folder. Just delete the whole folder. And now you'll see if we head back to Firefox and we close uh, the browser and we relaunch the browser, it has replaced the extensions button and added it and re-enabled the extensions button back into version 111. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.